Get in the car, kids. We are going Christmas inflatable shopping. I will not be outdone by the neighbors. Of oh, that's a porta potty. No, that's yeah, that's a porta potty, but it looks the same. What are Christmas inflatables? They're like a. It they're like Crocs for your yard. Kids, I'm just saying, listen, anything inflatable is classy. Anything that you can blow up, it's just, it's like you can't hide money. You know what I'm saying? Inflatable pool, inflatable mattress that me and your mother still sleep on. It's very durable. I honestly feel the same way about Christmas inflatables that Kenny Chesney feels about tequila. One is one too many and one more is never enough. All my Christmas inflatable dreams are about to come true. Look at this right here. This isn't inflatable, but this is perfect for the living room. Kids, while we're here, why don't we pick up some church clothes for Christmas Eve? Excuse me, where are the dickies? Turns out Walmart doesn't have any Christmas inflatables, but I did find this four foot Christmas gnome. Some people don't understand the true meaning of Christmas. My neighbor Mitch is gonna flip when he sees this. He'll never guess where I got it. Kids, look at this right in front of us. It's our Uncle Ricky. Yeah, maybe he going to the same place we are. Kids, we got a couple more stops. Arby's is right here. You wanna stop in for a beef and cheddar? They're two for three. Listen, there's the Cracker Barrel. No, the Cracker Barrel is right there. That's perfect. And listen, here's a La Quinta. La Quinta Inn and Suites. The in-laws can stay there for Christmas and there's where we'll have dinner. It's perfect. This is like the Bermuda Triangle of Dignity. This is where it goes to disappear. I mean, while we're in the neighborhood, let's just run into Cracker Barrel quick and see if they got any decor for the house. Your mother will appreciate it. Mask policy? No, dude, this is Cracker Barrel. Do you guys have any like uh, Christmas inflatables? Kids, pick out something for your mother. I'll look around for something. Home Depot. Home Depot has them? I'll go there. Yeah. They got them all, huh? Oh, I have died and gone to heaven. Get me a buggy. Give me at least one of each. Get me the squirrel. Get me the minion. And get me the Grinch. I am dreaming of a white trash Christmas. Hi, all I'm seeing here is the 13-foot uh, blow-up penguin. Do you have anything bigger? Than that, yeah, just I'm trying to overcompensate for some other things in my personal life, so. This is absolutely too small of a Christmas tree, okay? Look how thin it is at the base. I like my Christmas trees like I like my mobile homes. Double wide. God bless Home Depot for their unbelievable selection of Christmas inflatables. You know what? I love their motto. You can do it. We can help. I'm pretty sure they're referring to lowering the property value in my neighborhood. These Christmas inflatables actually cost us a lot of money and power. Yeah, we're actually running a generator uh, out of the backyard. The power goes off in the house every now and then. Yeah, the kids are can't see to do their homework and their reading and stuff for school. But, like, we got an inflatable Grinch in the front yard, so it's perfect. Look, it's a Cabela's gift card. Now, get this for your Uncle Ricky. Remember that wedding we went to last summer? This is where he got his outfit. <laughs> Riley, get over here. Look at this one. It's brain freeze. You have a snowman eating an ice cream cone. It's irony. <laughs> this will go perfect. I have one that's, that's Santa getting a wedgie from a penguin. It'll go right next to that. I told you, we leave them up during the day and then we deflate them at night. Yeah, so we just got a bunch of like plastic laying all over our yard during the middle of the night. Yeah, no, it looks like a crime scene. One of the main benefits of Christmas inflatables is it cuts down on home invasions when you're out of town for the holidays. Yeah, because thieves know that you are uh, uh, poor. You know what I'm saying? If Kevin McAllister would have known about these back in 1992, he wouldn't have had to booby trap the whole house. Harry and Marv would have been casing the neighborhood like, oh, what about this house? No, that's an inflatable Santa climbing the chimney with his butt crack showing. Yeah, next house. Deliver a pizza to a house with Christmas inflatables out front. It's like, can you actually return the change to me, you filthy animal? Because I, okay, I took the Home Alone references too far. We're putting the Christmas decorations up now and they're not coming down till February the 12th. That's right, Daytona.